Hello and I welcome you all to the fresh episode of Defense Follower. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is about the different uh, radar bands which are used in the military purpose. So whenever we uh, watch multiple uh, defense related videos or we read uh, defense articles and especially under the topic of radars we usually uh, hear to these terms called L band radars and X band radars. So not everyone uh, explains us what it is. and we actually sometimes wonder what are these uh, different bands of radars so a band uh, of a radar is nothing but in under what uh, like no frequency and wavelength does uh, this radar work that is uh, what uh, like let it be the frequency might be 1 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz or whether the wavelength be between 30 cm to as high as like you know 100 cm so what is the wavelength and frequency of this radar so depending on those uh, parameters the radars are d- like you know are divided into multiple bands now the most common bands which we have heard uh, are l band radars and the x band radars so today we are going to just differentiate uh, these both in layman terms now what is this x band radar now usually uh, these are used for fire control radars that means all the radars which are fitted on to the fighter aircrafts or the helicopters so all these uh, fire control radars are of x band now what is this x band actually so any radar which actually has a bandwidth between 8 to 12 gigahertz that is what it is uh, frequency is and the wavelength is uh, between 2.5 to 3 uh, or 3 to 3.75 cm to be uh, specific the wavelength is around this area this will be varying uh, depending on the radar design so the usual parameters are this the frequency be, uh, being between 8 to 12 gigahertz and the uh, wavelength being the 2.5 to 3.75 uh, cm now what is uh, like you no know, its advantages and disadvantages no because we have observed that the uh, frequency is on the higher side and the uh, wavelength is on the lower side so what happens is that the signal transmission rate is actually higher so at a given point of time you send out a large number of signals and due to which it is uh, like you know able to reach the target faster and has a uh, comparatively faster refresh rates and uh, like you are able to ta- uh, like you know get a higher resolution or the higher picture of the target so this is what the x band radar actually does and uh, these fire control radars that means which uses this x band uh, to actually target they uh, so these fire control radars the main purpose for them is to find out the target and which elevation it is what is the azimuth azimuth is nothing but the horizontal um, location and the elevation is we all know that is the vertical uh, location of the aircraft uh, or the target it can be anything and we also uh, want to like you know target it we have to guide our weapon towards the target so we uh, these uh, because we need uh, like you no know, higher clarity of the target because you're targeting it actually so we use these x band radars now uh, because uh, of these uh, characteristics the antenna of this uh, radar is quite smaller and that's the reason you are able to fit in into a such a small aerodrome of the aircraft so now when we come to the l band radars now these are used in uh, search and track radars Now what are the search and track radars so these radars are situated on the uh, coasts or they are uh, mounted onto the evox that is the urban early warning and control systems so are they are either mounted on that or they are mounted on the ground based uh, radar observations so uh, the frequency of this is again on the lower side that is 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz which is much uh, lower than the x band radar now the wavelength is here is again higher it can be anywhere between 15 to 30 cm now when you have such a like you no know, higher wavelength you will get a lot of penetration capability that means you are able to uh, like you know penetrate through these clouds uh, fogs and snow and you are able to reach out to the target but the problem with the l band radar is that uh, you are unable to like you know get the higher resolution of the image that's the reason you don't fit these into uh, big aircraft even though you get a longer range you can track up to 400 km or 600 km but you don't get a proper clarity of the image that's the reason you only use it in the search and track radars where the resolution of the target is not important for you for you it is important is that where the target is located and also 
uh, whether it is a friend or it's a foe that is what you have to identify that's the reason the l band radars are used now uh, the bigger advantage as i already told you is it's uh, like you no know, lower interference with the rain that means the attenuation of the signal which is mostly in the uh, networking terms and um, like you know uh, electronic terms the attenuation of the signal is quite low what are the x band radars it interferes a lot with the uh, uh, the clouds or the surroundings it and uh, the signals interfere a lot with uh, the environmental conditions so this is the basic difference between the x band and the l band radars i hope you have understood it thank you jai hind vande mataram